Hello! Today's video is going to be about adding a network card to my motherboard project here. So, basic hardware we got going on, we've got the main board, got the processor, V40 in this case, the memory, and a video card. I'm going to be adding this network card. And this happens to be the 3C509B-TOP, it's a 16-bit card, we're going to be plugging into an 8-bit slot. Now, when I went to buy the card, because I didn't have any, there was not uh, much information on this as far as it working. Actually, a lot of what I've read said that uh, they had trouble getting it to work on an 8-bit uh, machine, that is, an 8088 or IBM PC. But, I bought it anyway, so figured I'd give it a try, and it actually worked. Let me just show you the, uh, the driver for this uh, card. It didn't take me long to find this uh, web page, uh, this uh, GitHub page. It looks like a hacker b 93 c 509 b nester the title of it. But you scroll down here to the README file, and it, uh, it's pretty clear on how to use this. So you just download these two files here. The configuration file right here, you only have to run once. And it just, see on this board, it's only got a uh, one interrupt controller. So you want to set your interrupt to three, optimize for DOS, uh, plug and play, disabled. Anyway, so when I type this in, everything to here worked, this XCR, or XCVR auto gave me an error. But uh, so I just left that off, typed this in, set up the card, and then, like I say, you only run this once. And then I ran this in the auto exec. Let me uh, pull that up real quick. So in the auto exec, um, I remmed out the mouse because this card takes up the uh, port for that, so there's no mouse. Still have to run the keyboard fix, and then I've got a directory called net, and that's where I've got the 3C509, and then uh, 60 and hex there. And then, for the DHCP, you do this setup. Now, this I got from, let's just search real quick, MTCP. So... Main page here. So this is where you get a lot of your tools for networking with DOS. So you've got uh, all these downloads over here you can get. There's a zip file on here somewhere. So anyway, this is where that line and the DHCP in the auto exec comes from, is from those tools. So from here, this is just your driver, and then this comes from that MTCP. So this, uh, don't worry about this, SUEX, that's a DOS web server. If I get that to work, then we'll uh, make a video on that later. So anyway, I'm going to reconfigure things here and uh, boot it up, and we'll try to connect to some BBSs or something. All right, so we've got everything together here. Now we're just booting it up. center the screen a little better while we're waiting. Like I said in my previous video, I've got some uh, video capturing hardware in the mail. It'll probably be here mid-December. Get some better screen captures. Alright, so you can see it loaded the driver and now it's requesting an IP address from the router. I, it really, I mean, from the time I got the card to the time I got it to work was like less than an hour. Just trying to figure everything out. So, anyway, uh, let's go to the, the net directory. Now, these are the tools I downloaded from that MTCP website. Uh, you got a few things in here. You got ping, you got HTTP serve, you got a FTP serve, FTP, uh, that DHCP that connected and telnet. So 
Let's give Telnet a try. And this is really just to show that we are legitimately connected to the World Wide Web there. I tried some web browsers and they just they just did not uh they did not work. I I don't know if they were just designed for like a 286 or something. I tried Lynx, I tried Link, I tried I didn't try ArcNet or Arachnid or whatever it's called. But yeah, so I didn't have much luck with web browsers, that's for sure. All right, so there you go. We just entered a BBS. As you can see, looks like this one. It's uh, focused on old computers, software. So we could try uh, enter your name. We could try try visitor. So it wants you to create an account to log in. So. If anybody knows of one out there that uh, you could just log in as a guest or visitor, it'd be nice to give that a try. Uh, control break will disconnect. Let's try. I like this one. It's colorful. A lot of BBSs are colorful now. Let's do. Um, this one will take a visitor, but there's not much to see. So it, uh, we're connected. It says level 29. That must be the name. That's the, that's the official BBS of RetroBattleStations.com. Let's just type Visitor. And enter there and there and there. It says welcome. So we're connected. Gives a little message. So there you go, we're uh, connected to their uh, BBS. Let's see, I uh, don't know much about this BBS or let's just say all. Looks like some people have left messages in here. And uh, I mean, if these dates are correct, it's, it's active. You know, there's people logging in. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, email me on the network card. Uh, it is, like I say, it is running on a PC compatible. Uh, uh, a, let's see, it's a V40 processor. I haven't tried it on my 8088 processor yet. I guess I should give that a try. Alright, so this is it booting on my 8088 processor, the actual one. Let's just see if it uh, connects real quick. It claims it did, so that's pretty good to know. This, so this is a this is running at 5 megahertz, and it, it's an AMD 8088. Uh, let's do some quick... Uh, Let's just tell that again. So tell that. Let's do the one that's colorful. All right. So there you go. So this network card does work on the uh, 8088, and that's that, uh, let's see if I can read it again, I'll have it memorized. So it's a 3COM, it's a 3C509B-TPO, so anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my video today.